Hi, it's Eric Paulson, and thanks for joining for our video conversation this week. We actually had a pretty busy week in Washington. We heard from the President of the Ukraine talk about the challenges he's having in his country right now, and in particular, emphasize freedom and democracy, something we really relish here in the United States, and how he wants his people to continue to have that. I also received the Guardian of Small Business Award from the National Federation of Independent Business. Had a lot of debate this week regarding the challenges we have on the Middle East and uh, ISIL, and uh, we'll hear more about that in the future. But now we're going to get to our questions and the first came in from Dot in Plymouth who sent me a letter and Dot said Dear Congressman Paulson finally finishing the Keystone XL oil pipeline after more than four years of permitting delays will be a huge boost for American jobs economic growth and energy security anything you can do to expedite this process will help create thousands of shovel ready jobs our economy needs while reducing our dependence on energy from unstable regions actually great comments Dot but it's actually been closer to six years that this pipeline project has been held up I think it's really important to move the project forward. There's strong bipartisan support from both members in the House and in the Senate on it. But you know what? The politics, unfortunately, continues to play a role from the administration in holding it up. Even the State Department has essentially green-lighted the project, and it needs to move forward if we're going to not only have those jobs, but make sure that we are going to be non-dependent on foreign oil. And this is North American energy supply, which is really critical uh, to our economy here in the United States. We also got a question that came in from Alan in Mound, and Alan sent in an email. It says, Dear Eric, I'd urge you to wholeheartedly vote yes on HR 24 and make sure that the Fed gets audited as soon as possible. For too long, we have let a bunch of banks control our financial future without any oversight. Corruption is evidently rampant in the dealings of the Fed and it needs to be brought to light and dealt with immediately. Please vote to audit the Fed. Well, Alan, we may not know there's a lot of corruption in the Fed, but I do think it is important to have more transparency and more accountability with an organization that has so much influence over monetary policy in our economy. This week, with the bipartisan vote in the House, we did vote to audit the Federal Reserve. It's common sense legislation. It's not overly intrusive, but it will provide more accountability that will help bring more oversight and insight and shed the light of day of what that institution is about, knowing that they control so much in our money flow. I want to thank everyone for sharing your thoughts, your ideas, your questions, your comments. Please continue to do so. You can reach me on Twitter, on Facebook, or of course on the website at paulson.house.gov. Have a great weekend.